What's the deal? It's your boy J Mike, Mr. Athletic Over Everything. And today, I know you saw the thumbnail. Them folks came to my place of employment um, for my drug test today. Um, I'm making this video because I, I think it's still kind of funny how people think um, how easy it is to pass a drug test, right? Um, what you guys, most of you guys don't understand and what you don't realize is that we have to submit our life schedule to the drug testing. Uh, once you get into the drug testing protocol, you have to get, leave open one hour every day to where a drug official could come drug test you. Like I don't think some of you guys understand that. It's literal. It's literally like they hit you up like, yo, you know what time it is. I'll be there in 10 minutes and they're coming to drug test you. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like you have the opportunity to uh, come up with a fake sample or do anything like that. They're coming. You know what I'm saying? So for people to think that the people in the USAPL have scientists and doctors who are uh, testing and, you know, making sure that you're you're uh, testing negative and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous at this point, but um, I think it's something that a lot of people need to realize is that this is this is it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you think about it, I just got drug tested at the Arnold with that was January in March. So I got drug tested in March. They're drug testing me again in April. Is it April? Yeah. So I'm being drug tested again. So it goes to show you that it's not what people think it is. But there is a lot of responsibility that goes along with this. We can't just run off and try new supplements. We can't just, um, we have to be very careful what you put into your body. You know what I'm saying? So um, I've like completely shut it down to the point where I buy my pre-workout from Walmart. I, I've used C4 just so I don't have to deal with the uh, what comes behind it. Being one of the best benchers in the world naturally um, and also for the amount of weight I lift for my size, I know I can't afford to have a failed drug test. I would never hear the end of it. So I just take myself out the situation and use uh, something that's drug, drug, uh, safe sport approved. And I don't have to worry about all that stuff. But um, I just wanted to make this video just to let you guys know that um, this is how it is. They pop up on you. They might, you know, wherever you're at, they're going to find you. Um, and I believe you got like 30, uh, you got an hour, I think, to get to the spot. So say, for instance, I wasn't at the gym when they were coming. I would have an hour to get back to the gym to get my test in. So um, it's not what you guys think it is, man. It, it's it's a great commitment. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to fill in where you're going to be and how you're going to do it. And if, let's say, for instance, I was going out of town, I would have to log into um, Adams or whatever it's called and update my status so they'll know where i am so they can drug test me so say for instance if i went to dallas they could have someone from dallas in dallas drug test me you know what i'm saying so um i hope this is just a little informational but like i'm not worried about it the drug test will probably be, be back in before bench nationals which is uh june 6th 7th i think i'll be lifting so uh yeah but um look you guys can hit up my website, athleticovereverything.com. I have some of the coolest apparel in the fitness game. Um, right now, if you spend $75 or more, you get a free pair of lockjaw collars that are